Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Bowman Baseball 12 box hobby edition. Pick your team number six. All cards ship in this, including the paper, which is nice. So there you go, one autograph a box. H is not for Hornet, H is for hobby, ladies and gentlemen. Here is, Here are the people who uh, pick their teams. No fillers for this or anything. I appreciate people filling this up straight up. I think Jeremy got the last two spots, yeah. Double last spot mojo right there. Good luck, Jeremy. Thank you for finishing this break off. Thanks, everybody, for working on it. I appreciate it. Is anyone actually here watching this break live? I feel like this has been sitting on the site for a little bit. But it's finally happening. Jeremy might be here. He was the one that bought the last two teams. I know Walter was waiting. Walter got the Yankees last night. He was waiting for that break to happen. Maybe Walter's around. What did I do with my computer? Oh, there you go. I accidentally minimized all my windows. All right, there we go. There's Walter. There he is. There's Ben's here. Ben's in this break, too. There you go. There you go. Drew. I have a few Bowman breaks from last week, and I don't believe they ship yet. Will they ship soon? You know what, Drew? If you click that break schedule in the chat, that'll also lead you to a shipping tab, which will tell you the status of every single break or the date of the break. So, so just figure out what date your break was, and then you can go to the shipping tab in the break schedule, and you'll know exactly what the status of that is. All right, so Ben's got the Cardinals. Yeah, the rookie cards are kind of hard to, the rookie autos are kind of hard to hit. This is more, Bowman's, of course, ladies and gentlemen, is a prospect product. But yeah, Dylan Carlson rookie auto would be really sharp, would be awesome. I've got the Dodgers on right now. Dodgers trying to, trying to win a game here in Wrigley. Trying to get some insurance runs. They're up 3-2 right now on the Cubs. Yesterday's double, double header loss was, was pretty rough. Aside from that one, that one 16 run outburst in Milwaukee, the last couple of weeks for the Dodgers have been really rough. Injuries have, have played a part, but they've just been just slumping in general. Defense has been a little floppy. Relief pitching hasn't been as stellar. You're looking for Jose Salas. Oh, that must be that must be uh, Marlins, right? Chen. Remember, good news, all card ship. Sub Ray, yeah, poor Dustin May indeed. That kid was having a great season. Every start he was looking better and better. And was looking like he was gonna really have a breakout season. And then the dreaded Tommy John. Yeah, thank you too, Chen, for getting in on the action. We appreciate it. All right, so we're looking for one auto a box. And some parallels of the of the top names would be nice. And we'll do an autograph recap at the end of the video as well if you're just joining us. Here for Pick Your Team 6 Hobby Edition.
Josiah Gray, one of the big Dodger prospects, with all the uh, injuries the Dodgers have suffered, they said that they're not intending to. Uh, they're not intending to call Josiah Gray up. FSU, why do we even do what these? What do you mean? Why do we even do these? Because that's what. It's not. It's not me. It's the people that want to break this. They buy it. Well, I break it. It's my job. Because we like going prospecting, prospect hunting. It's Jose Rodriguez. You don't have to watch. You can leave. <laughs> Jose Rodriguez. You're more than welcome to buy out some other breaks if you don't like watching Bowman. There's Andrew Dahlquist, Aqua. All right, Dahlquist, Aqua for the White Sox. Jeremy. This is a good hunt for prospects too. With a lot of with a lot of patience in a break like this, you can you can get a lot of future value here. This is this is a good good futures market in these. Yeah, the break's a little long, but there could be some nice possibilities like this gold shimmer Freudus Nova to fifty for the Strohs. That's gonna be for Jeremy. There's Blake Snell, neon green to 399. Dax Fulton Atomic. Blake Snell still raise edition here for Jimmy. All right, box one in the books. Box, box two. See what's I, I had some picks for tonight. I don't think they're I don't think my night's going very well. I was on Arizona. They got shut out. Eight nothing by the Marlins. I was on Washington. They lost by a couple runs to the Braves. Those are I need Phillies. Alright, Phillies did win. That's good. I had a lot of units on them. Thanks, Phillies. What about Detroit? I was on Detroit. For entertainment purposes. Only. They're tied at three against the Red Sox, top of the eighth. I was on I was on Chicago just in case the Dodgers blow it. I would be sad, but then I would uh I would make money. But if the Dodgers win, I'm okay losing that money for a Dodgers win. So I I win either way. If you're wondering why I'm betting against my team. I was on the big big long shot. This I'm not expecting too much for, but I, I was on the Pirates. They're tied at two with the Padres. The bottom of the sixth. They might still be able to pull that one off. And I was also on Kansas City, who were up a run on the Indians, top of the seventh. All right, so I got some games that are pretty close. I might salvage my day. Um, today, on Cinco de Mayo, May the 5th, 2021, John Means for the uh, Orioles threw a no-hitter and missed a perfect game by a single uh, by a single wild pitch Justin are these shirts available for purchase no I think we ran out we just we need to order more for sale we had them for sale in store just for our local customers but eventually we need to put in a put in a shirt order where we can sell 
online too, or maybe give away. Maybe I should throw some shirts in that black gold game. Black gold break, that is. Wait, Brady Singer got ejected? Casey game went wonky. The, that's, exact, that's precisely why I had a play on that game, because I thought, oh, Singer's pretty good. I think uh, the hoodies never have never existed. I think Nick has a hoodie. As a as a prototype, Nick has a prototype hoodie, so hoodies may be in production. All right, next box. Yeah, he did. It was over a bad call, huh? Who uh, was it? Angel Hernandez behind the plate. And we've got Nick Bitsko to seventy-five for the Rays. That'll be for Jimmy. Just need Cody Bellinger back in the lineup. I think I don't know if you saw that. The, uh, we flashed by Jeremy that Bobby Miller card. I think he made his first professional start. He's supposed to be a pretty big pitching prospect. I think in in A ball. There's Helio Ramos, the minor league season, after missing the entire entirety of last year, which is which is all these prospects that you've got in Bowman baseball and draft and everything, like you have to add like almost another half to half a season or a season for them, because most of those guys missed out on a on competitive baseball for a year. Maybe they're training on the alternate side, but last year, but yeah, Helio Ramos goes to the Giants, by the way, David. So a lot of these guys are like, are behind a season. I know all card chip, but let's let's at least save one of these Austin Martin papers. I'll try to save as many of these as I can, Blue Jays. That'll be for Leo. Austin Martin, of course, one of the big, another big prospect for the Blue Jays coming up the ranks. There's Bobby Miller right there. There he is. And there's Hedberg Perez for the Brew Crew. Jeremy with the Brewers. When did you realize, ladies and gentlemen, that the Brewers logo is actually the M and the B for Milwaukee Brewers? When did you realize that? Especially if you're outside of, if you're many states outside of Milwaukee, outside of Wisconsin. I think I probably figured that out more, more re, more much more later than I should have. I think. Never. Ah, oh, see. I always get someone with that. Some someone always is like, "What?" Walter says, "Right now." See, learn something new every day, at Jaspies. Okay, so I don't feel so bad <laughs> because. Because it was pretty recent for me. I would say like within the last five to seven years is when I is when I figured out. There's Kiebert Ruiz to four ninety nine. Yeah, I think it was pre pre -bre pre breaking time, but but yeah, I think I, I had had read some like 
was following some guy on Twitter or something about about logos and team colors and whatnot. Come on, Corey Seager. Just sloppy. Big Rig just thought it was just a glove. No, not just a glove. The M and the V for Milwaukee Brewers. It's one of it's one of the the more clever logos. There's the double play. Yeah, J Jake. It's, I know. I've heard some people be like, "Yeah, I totally knew that it would that was an M and a B from the get go." That's what Jay's saying. It's weird to him that so many people have never noticed it. No, it. it and like like many of you, you know, I was I was I was collecting. You know, when I was a kid, and I think when the... Because the Brewers did change their logo for a number of years. Right? I think they just had that M. You're going to go make a turkey sandwich. Hopefully this isn't over by the time... No, I don't think it'll be over by... You'll, you'll, you can go make your... You can probably... You can probably bake a turkey and make a turkey sandwich. This break might still be going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like those perspective things where is it like, have you seen those like the black and white ones where it's like, is it two vases? Vases? Is it a vase? Or is it two faces looking at each other? Have you seen those? Like those perspective, like the, and if you look at the, if you just look at like the white part, it looks like a vase, like a flower vase or something. But if you look at the, the, the black part, then it looks like a shadows of two faces looking at each other. It's kind of like that. Is there a perspective thing Ben's saying where it's two Batman or two Wolverines? I gotta look that one up. I don't think any of the other baseball logos have anything clever going on with them. But the, the Brewers one is really good. I think the, one of the best, speaking of logos, the Florida Marlins F logo, I think that looks really sharp. They're they're in they're Miami now, so I don't know if that's ever gonna come back, but the old F is really awesome. I think there's also a thing <laughs> where the the font of the D for the Detroit Tigers I think is different on away and uh, home and away uniforms, I wanna say. Uh, maybe they've corrected that in recent years. Not corrected it, but maybe they made it consistent in recent years. But I think at one point, the D's, the D's are different. There's Elu Harris Montero, 81 out of 199, Fuchsia. For the Cardinals, that'll be for Ben. Oh, you have it backwards. Two Batmans looking at each other, or it looks like Wolverine facing forward. Yeah.
All the other logos are pretty straightforward. We got Nolan Jones, blue chrome to 150. For Cleveland, Jeremy with the tribe. Cleveland Indians, I guess, are going to change their name by next season, maybe? It'll be interesting to see what name they come up with. Mike Trout, Atomic. Nice. That looks pretty cool. 92 out of 150 for the Halos. Jeremy. Bowen first, Nick Mayton, Atomic. Yeah, any Austin Martin cards I've been seeing, we've been uh, I've been sleeving up, so they'll be top loaded before they go out by our sorting and shipping team. Next box. All right, next hobby box. I passed. Few, I'm sure there'll be there'll be more that I'll find for Leo and the Blue Jays. But everything ships, so everything everything will go. Well, Gloria, you're not, you don't have the Blue Jays in this one, though, by the way. Leo Core does, has the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, it is not you, it's the AC. There's like a fan, I don't know where that fan is, but there's like a fan up there. That's, well, maybe, I don't know what it is, actually, but I know it's the AC. I don't know, maybe it's, maybe there's like a, a little space somewhere that air is whistling through. You're, you're using your wife's YouTube account. Okay, I get it. <laughs> I was like, it's kind of weird. CJ Abrams to 150. It's like good looking out, but you're not, you're not in this. 
Yeah. Un, it, it caught Big Rig's ear. Uncatch it. Otherwise, it'll, that's like the frequency you'll dial into. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the servos in my brain. I mean, no. I'm not a cyborg. There's Austin Hendrick, neon green to 399. That's for the Reds, that's for Leo. Next box, or next stack, wishful thinking. There's a Chrome Austin Martin, nice. I mean, really, we're, parallels are where it's at. Let's find some parallels of that dude. All the other stuff is all right. Here's Edney Rodriguez. Endy Rodriguez, 155 to 299 speckle autograph for Eric and the Mets. Atomic Shane Boz. At what point do you think Craig Kimbrell did that? Did did the arm thing? So when he's pitching, he's looking at the sign. He's got his arm swinging out like that. When do you think he started that? You think? Like, and no one, like, stopped him? It works. He's in the bigs. He's a pretty good player. But I wonder, like, when he started that and, like, I guess it just worked and then no one ever corrected him. It's like, well, if that works, it works, son. Go for it. Is there any footage of, of, of Craig Kimbrell in, like, high school? Did he go to college? Baseball can be weird like that. Sometimes they'll they'll want they'll like try to, especially at an early age. If kids have a weird batting stance or they're holding the bat weird or whatever, they try to they try to correct that, quote unquote, correct that, you know. But, but sometimes some of the unique batting stances just work and they filter because kids you just feel comfortable hitting in that stance. So. I have not seen the video of a fan mimicking his motion behind the play. I got to check that out. Glor or Leo saying, I saw him in the Arizona Fall League and he didn't do the arm thing? So he picked that up later? I mean, at that point, you're, you're, you're in the bigs, right? Yeah, he was, he was amazing for the Braves for a long time. He's still pretty solid. But yeah, he was near unhittable for a good chunk of the years on the Braves. There must be an interview with, I, I'll just, I'll have to research it. There has to be an interview where it says, or asks where he, uh, where he talks about how that started and why he does it. Oh, Gavin Lux, pop it up. Come on, Gavin. Oh, so it was kind of a psych out thing. So if. If the Cubs are in a playoff game on the road, a bunch of people should just sit behind the home plate and do it. I 
I wonder, it's gotta be like something to do with, it has to be like a mechanics reminder kind of thing. That's all I, that's, that's my speculate. I'm sure there, there's other reasons, but I, maybe it's like a mechanics thing. Maybe like his shoulder was too low. He wanted to keep the arms up or I don't know. We have something in his mechanics they said. Oh, he started because he got injured. Interesting. Oh, I see. So Ben saying, according to an article, Kimbrel used to keep his arm behind his back when he looked in for a sign, but that became too painful when he was suffering from biceps tendonitis. So then, then he kind of just held it off to the side. Hmm. There you go, knowledge. Come on, Sheldon Noisy. Oh, and one and two to Sheldon Noisy with two outs. Oh, and there's Nick Mayton. I think this is Bowman first, but I think he's already playing. For the Phillies. That goes to Brandon Cooper. Ninety six, right at the knees, frozen. Didn't even take the bat off the shoulders. All right, nice orange, twenty three out of twenty five. Zach Veen. What is this? Positional promise. Got promise at that position. Untapped power promise as well. Nice. Kimball calls it his pterodactyl pose. Man, it does kind of look like... That's what I would imagine a pterodactyl to look like. If it were merged with a human. There's Mick uh, Abel, Abel, Mick Abel, to 125. Aqua, another one for the Phillies, Brandon Cooper. There's Oswald Peraza, blue paper to 150 for the Yankees, Walter. There's Joe Adele to 399 Neon. Who was asking about, I think I forgot to answer that question. Who was asking about Joe Adele earlier? That's the 399 Neon paper. 151. Uh, um, I think he just started his minor league season. I don't, think, I don't think he's with the big club right now. There's Ivan Johnson, Bowman first for the Reds, Leo. Poor Luis Robert. Need him back in action soon. Terrible. Not good. Hashtag not good for the hobby. What if just no one buys a spot in the black old filler? Then I guess it doesn't happen, but it's, that's a pretty rare occurrence. 
that no one buys a spot in anything. Eventually everything happens. Yeah, Eloy Jimenez, I think, had like a pectoral issue. And Luis Robert, hip flexor. It's kind of rough. It's, it's, not, it's hashtag not good for the hobby because I think everyone was excited about Luis Robert rookies last year. You know, and then like, oh man, what can he do over the course of a full season? You guys see that? What's that right there? Ooh. Any guesses for bragging rights? Uh, we got a shout for the Marlins for that super fractor. Yeah, hopefully it's a rookie. <laughs> it's, someone might, someone might get paid. They call them super fractors for uh, Topps Bowman products. Um, I think it can be anyone. I think it can be any player that's on the checklist, not just rookies. Ben Young is rooting for the Dylan Carlson. Big Rick's rooting for whoever has the Royals. That's his team. I think that would be Leo. We got a Freudus Nova orange color match for Jeremy and the Astros. Antonio Gomez, purple paper to 250. Jay Cohen's rooting for whoever has the red legs. That would be, that's Leo as well. I think we pulled a. I think we pulled another uh, orange card earlier. Ronnie Maurizio Atomic.
Wait, did we not see an autograph? Right? We didn't see the autograph. This was last box, right? Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did we get shorted an autograph in one of the boxes? We might have got shorted an autograph in one of the boxes. Because I only have four autographs here. One, two, three, four. That would be fifth. But I, I'm on box six. Anyway, I think we got shorted an auto somewhere. Doesn't look like the it's in the auto spot though. Wow, it is an autograph. Super Fractor Bowman Scouts Top 100 Super Fractor Auto Luis Patino for the Padres. That's Eric J. Nice number 26 on the Top 100. That's pretty good. That's awesome. Eric, with the Padres, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Very nice. Well, that'll be the last card I show in the, uh, in the recap. Nice, next box. All right, so I think we did get, get short an auto. Robert saying he saw a guy rip two hobby boxes and just end up with one auto. Maybe we'll find a box with two autos in it to make up for it. It happens sometimes. We've seen it happen. Onwards. Yeah, absolutely. I'm definitely that's definitely gonna be photographed. I'm sure it'll end up in a in a future Instagram post. Big hit gallery. Alright, so we're halfway through the break, folks. We've got about another forty five minutes or so to go. I think once I'm done with this, that'll probably bring us right to uh, late night with Sean Jaspi. So it's pretty good timing here. I think he was watching or maybe list, hopefully he's watching the road, Sean, and not paying attention to this break. Leave it to Sean to jam me up if he gets himself hurt. Or worse, that would really jam me up. I would, would not have Sean's company anymore. Would not have, not have him working here anymore. Joey Christmas, what's going on? Is the Bowman Jumbo going tonight? That's not up to me. That's up to you, Joey. You want to sell it out? Is it sold out? No, it's not sold out. So now my that, that, that question is for you, Joey. Is Bowman Jumbo going tonight? You tell me. It's not up to me. I can't I can't force it to happen, unfortunately. I would like to. I mean, listen, it's been kind of sitting there for a little bit, Joe. So, that, yeah, the implication, the implication is 
if you want it to happen tonight, because Sean's coming in for a late night, so if it's time you're worried about, we don't have to worry about time. So now it's just a matter of when the people want to do it. The Bowman Jumbo people, if, you know, if, If you already have a spot, maybe consider a second. <laughs> if you already have two teams, maybe consider a third. Oh, it's just all the big teams left. Okay, maybe we'll, have, we'll maybe we'll have to turn that into some sort of some sort of filler break for later tonight or tomorrow. There is Kobe Mayo. Kobe hold the Mayo or extra Mayo. Maybe you want more Mayo. I don't know. I'm not gonna Mayo shame anybody. There's uh, Orioles, Leo. Oh, a double. No, it's not. Because Lux is at second. And we got a Wander Franco speckle to two ninety nine. I'll be monitoring his uh, progress in the minors. I've got him on my fantasy team. Could use the help. Oh, there you go. Walter just snagged the uh, Yankees. There's Spencer Torkelson. Nice atomic to one fifty. In that old design. This Maximo Acosta kid's supposed to be really good too for the Rangers. There's a lot of good players in here. Matthew Shear will get all those Maximo Acostas. Taylor Trammell, Atomic. Is that not? Oh, I guess it's not numbered. For the Mariners, Jeremy. Freddie Freeman paper to four ninety nine. Gary with the Braves. Hunter Green, Green Speckle. 59 out of 99 for the Red Legs. It's going to be for Leo. He's from uh he's from around here. I think he went to uh, went to high school just in the valley, just over the hill. I think we met him at a Tops party, a Tops industry conference, a couple of years back. It was really nice. I think he can play shortstop and pitch. He wanted to do both when I asked him. But he said he thinks the Reds are probably going to keep him as a pitcher. All right, another box. Do I remember Wayne's World when they were doing a product placement? Wayne says, uh, new print little cell. No. I don't remember. <laughs> That's right. Jay Cohen. Jay Cohen knows his, uh, LA area high schools. He went, did indeed go to Notre Dame High School in Sherman Oaks. 
Notre Dame has also produced. I think they've had some other uh, professional athletes that have come out of there, but yeah, it's a nice little private school out there. Nice. There you go, Max Muncy. That's going to score a run. Justin Turner, get in there. Get down. Oh, I think he's out. That's, that's aggressive, though. I like it. Yeah, he's got he's got a yeah. Hunter Green's got a good arm. He's supposed to be one of their one of the big big prospects for the Reds. He was drafted pretty high too. Second overall. So I think they're ex expecting a lot out of him. Ooh, Otani at five innings. Seven strikeouts. That's good. He's on my fantasy team. What about the walks? RTR. I need him to cut down on the walks. to stretch out my back a little bit. Uh, the new extra innings rule, I, I guess it's okay. I don't think, I mean, I think, well, let's ask ourselves, why did uh, seven strikeouts, four walks? Yeah, the walks tend to be a problem for Otani. There's Jeremy Pena to 499. Well, the point of the extra man on second base for extra innings games what was the point of that? Major League Baseball would tell you that it's supposed to make the game go faster. Right? But first off, there's extra innings doesn't happen too often anyway. So why are we fiddling with extra innings? <laughs> I feel like sometimes the game goes even longer because with the with a man on second to start start each half frame there's uh, Nick Allen. The chances of scoring a run are a lot greater with the person on second. So you almost have to score two runs. Like if you're the Dodgers on the road and you're on the top of the 10th, you almost want to score two runs because you know that a run is almost automatic at the bottom of the frame in extras because there's a man on second. So it just doesn't make sense if that was the main reason why you wanted extra innings, like it would, so it would go faster. Right. So that's my point. They would they wanted extra innings games to end more quickly, so pitching staffs aren't taxed. But if you're if you're exchanging runs every half frame, and you're having pitchers pitching high stress innings because they already have a man on second behind them. So that's a, that's a, you throw differently in those higher stress innings in an extra inning game. Seems like seems like pointless tinkering. I mean, it's that's it's not going to happen in the playoffs, right? I don't, I mean, I guess, I don't feel, if I had my druthers, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't want it to, I wouldn't, don't want it to change. Like, just do it the old way, but I don't care all that much, just as long as it doesn't happen in the playoffs. 
There's Jeremy Wu Yelland, refractor autograph for the Red Sox, Matthew Shiro. I mean, I guess if it has yielded, and I just feel like extra innings just in general doesn't happen that often. So how much, how many hours of baseball are we actually saving? Or innings are we saving on an event that doesn't happen as often? I don't know. I also, I also thought that, I don't know. I'd like, I'd like the man on second to happen in like the, like the 11th inning, not like right away. I feel like there should at least be maybe the 12th inning. There should be at least be an inning or two where you don't have the runner on second. And then like in like the 12th inning, maybe, maybe you can start putting, putting runners on. All right, Kenley Jansen, let's do this. Oh, God, Rizzo hits 455 off Kenley Jansen. He's 5 for 11 with two home runs. No. You see one of the independent leagues or minor leagues somewhere just in the home run derby to decide tie games after nine? That's kind of fun. Like the Atlantic League? I feel like the Atlantic League is where they do all the experimenting. I think they tried, one year they tried, uh, you can steal first, which I thought was interesting. I don't actually remember how that actually works. You just sit there and you just drop your bat and you just run. Come on, you can't, can't walk this guy. I think that's an orange. I thought that was gonna be a red for a second. Pioneer League doing home run derbies. I would never fly in the majors though, right? I feel like I feel like that would hitters would hate it. They would throw throw them throw them off so much. Lead off walk never leads to anything good. There's Byron Laura to 499. Rangers actually have a lot of great players coming up the pipeline. Oh, I think this, this is the first one of these that I've pulled. These die cuts, five out of 49. Nice Ed Howard die cut. Looks 
like a it's kind of like a gold piece right there nugget of gold that goes to Leo and the Cubs oh he's gonna homer off of Kenley Jansen his former teammate that's the storyline Wow, that was really close. There's Dylan McLean. 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 Ten out of twenty five orange auto for the Rangers. Matthew Shearer. I could totally see it happening, Jay, with the way this Dodgers' last couple weeks have gone for them. I would lead Sports Center. Dodgers let Jock Peterson walk. Jock Peterson revenge game. Nolan Gorman, neon green paper to three ninety nine for Ben Young and the Cardinals. Yeah, he's had a rough season, but but I mean, he should be eventually once the weather starts getting a little warmer. Jock Peterson will start raking in in the summer, I think. He's getting a lot of playing time too. Oh, dies at the warning track. But that's still a run scored. You may as well just hit it out, Jock. That looked like it was gone. He had bat flipped it like he thought it was gone. He thought it was gone too. The wind must have caught it. That's what the guys are saying. Oh. Yeah, cold out there. Tough to get that out. I'm telling you, once the weather starts getting warmer. Jock Peterson start hitting those. He's going to start tattooing those into the middle of the seats. Halfway up the stands. There's Anthony Volt, Atomic, for the Yankees. All right, three boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen.
there. So they intentionally walked Chris Bryant. They're putting Javier Baez on to face. Wilson Contreras. His brother is in the uh, Braves organization, I think. Nick Bitsko to 199, Fuchsia Shimmer. Rays, that'll be for Jimmy. Nice pitch. Jose Tena, green sparkle at 99. That's for Jeremy, Cleveland. Cleveland, this is for you. Double play, flip, throw. Nice, nice. Want to review it? There you go, Kenley. Yeah. Getting out of that. I got nervous for a second. And we got Hedbert Perez to four ninety nine for the Brewers, Jeremy. Refractor autograph for the Brew Crew. Uh, once again, Jeremy Razor with that one. One of the last spot Mojo teams. Last spot Mojo strikes again. Another paper, Austin Martin. Chrome, Austin Martin. We haven't seen any color for Austin Martin. I want to see if we can find some parallels of that guy. That'd be nice. There's Buster Posey, Fuchsia. Paper to 299. Buster Posey turning back the clock, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe that year off he took. Season off he took last year, did the body good. David with the Giants, my rivals. Royce Lewis, Atomic. Poor, poor Royce Lewis, right? Did he, was he the twin that did his ACL in the spring? All right, 
Two more boxes to go. Rex wants to see little Miguel Amaya up for the Cubs. Jock Peterson is on a one-year deal, right? Too many walks for Otani. Once, once he gets that in control, that's going to be it's going to be pretty scary. How do you do at the plate, Hayden? You have those numbers in front of you? Drop, 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 drop. Yes. Oh, he, he didn't bat tonight? Gotcha. Garrett Clevenger, huh? There's Alec Manoa to one ninety nine. Fuchsia. Blue Jays, that'll be for Leo. Folks, my uh, back's kind of killing me. Oh, hey there. What up? How are you? Doing good, doing good. Jared hey. Kelly is your second to last autograph. That's for Jeremy and the White Sox. Well, almost done already. Yeah, Chris Taylor, let's do it. Oh. 
That was kind of low, wasn't it? And drop the ball too out of 299 Charlie Blackman. Oh, maybe, maybe it is a strike. Charlie Blackman had a big walk off, I think, last night, right? Rockies, Ryan with the fuchsia paper. Looks like blue shimmer. Miguel Amaya. There it is. That's the player Rex was just talking about. He wants to see him called up. And Brendan Davis, too, Cubs fans. Leo with the Cubbies. I don't know. When, what were his numbers? See, all these guys missing that year kind of throws off the, their production, their progress. All those minor leaguers from last year. All right, and the last box. Double play. Maybe? Oh, did the run score first? Rizzo didn't have his foot on the bag. So it wasn't out. He throws it to second, gets the out there. He thought it was a double play. That's on Rizzo, yeah. Otherwise, I feel like he would have been called back for it. He's like, I need the ball back. But Gai Baez kind of gave him the point, like, hey, good job, there's the double play. All right, Gavin Lux, let's raise your stock. Hashtag good for the hobby. Gavin Lux can get a get an insurance run, get on base, do something. There you go, golfs it into shallow right. Hashtag good for the hobby. I think he's kind of warming up again. All right, final box, ladies and gentlemen. One more auto to go, maybe some low-numbered stuff. Let's see what we got.
Got some Kirkside Atomic. Dylan Dingler, paper to four ninety nine for the Tigers. That'll be for Jimmy and the Tigers. Should have an auto here somewhere. Purple auto? No, that's Jonathan India to two fifty. For the Reds. Or was Jared Kelly the auto? I'm, I'm losing track now. Brain is mush. Ooh, there it is. The gold auto. 30 out of 50. Ivan Johnson. Middle infielder for the red legs. That's going to go to Leo. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was that. Here's a quick recap. So here's all here's some parallels as well as some other highlights like Austin Martins and whatnot. Nice Torkelson atomics. Got a little bit of orange flashing here and there too, which are exclusive to these hobby boxes. Mookie's 0 for 5 with 3 strikeouts? Come on, Mookie. Over there. Come on. He's a bust. He's a bust. Send him back to Boston. <laughs> we'll, we'll take Verdugo and Kike back. And the Super Fractor, Luis Patino. Nice. There you go. Sup, Brent? What's going on, man? There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was 12 box. Uh, pick your team number 6. In the books, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.